You know, we've had three meets, and I think, uh, you know, we've been able to travel. We're learning how to travel, and then uh, we're also in a little better shape. So, uh, yeah, I was real pleased with last week. We had a lot of personal bests. I think our team's learning to compete, and so uh, I'm looking forward to this weekend. <coughs> um, what do you think about uh, how Kyle Collins is running right now, leading the Big 12 in the 400 meter? Yeah, Kyle's our, our senior. He's one of our leaders that's just been uh, a mainstay in, in our program, and uh, real pleased with him. He uh, He's getting in better shape. He had a little foot injury in the fall and, and missed a little training, and now he's starting to come back. And I think he's fixing to really run some faster times. Even though he's leading, I don't think that's near close to what he's going to run. Um, Tiffany Johnson placed third in the 600 meters. Se season best for her. How impressed are you with her? Yeah, I just, just talked to Tiff, and, you know, she is getting consistent. And every time you start getting consistent, running real close, and every week getting better just a little bit, she's fixing to have a breakout meet. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's this week or at Arkansas or at the Big 12. But she's about to break out and, I think, jump in those 7-4 ranges for the 60 meters or uh, and the 200, too. I think her 200 is going to get much quicker. And then what do you expect from this group this weekend? This weekend, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to decide who our 26 people are that are going to make the Big 12 traveling team. They only allow 26 per gender. And we've got a few kids that are on that bubble. And then I'm, I'm really looking for people, uh, like I said, that have been consistent. I think this is a really fast track for the sprinters and the jumpers. And I think we're going to have some big uh, opportunities to jump far, uh, to sprint better. Anything the 800 down, this track is really good for. So that's what I'm looking for, some, some bigger performances. Um, what are you looking like the competition at UNM? Well, we know USC is going to come, and they're very, very good. We're going to get some of the Pac-12, and we're going to get uh, some of that group that we haven't seen all year. So I think that's going to really add a little adrenaline to our kids because USC is really a perennial top five program. So uh, I think that's going to add a lot to us being a little excited. Um, your jumps program is really good. Can you talk about kind of what you're expecting out of Trey and whatever? Yeah, we rested Trey last week for the first time, and to kind of get him ready for this weekend, uh, this is going to be a, a, a big competition this week. I think even Bradley Atkins, our Olympian, is going to jump, and that'll, that'll provide some competition for Trey. And then USC's got uh, a really uh, great high jumper, too. So he knows this is a big weekend for him to improve on his 7-3 mark. And uh, all those jumpers, uh, it's at altitude. They're at 6,000 feet, and if you're a jumper, it always helps. Um, does the altitude really kind of affect you guys? What have you been doing to prepare for that? You know, we're at 3,000 feet, so I think it affects us a little bit less than some people that are totally at uh, sea level. But even this is a little higher. Once you get to the 400, uh, everyone makes it pretty good. The 800 up is tougher on them. you got that thinner air, a little less for the distance runners and all that. But... Uh, uh, like I say, I, I think we're used to it more than most people, so I don't think it'll affect us much. And we have two or three kids from Albuquerque on our team. Yes. Um, what do you – is Bernard um, running this week? We're not running. A, a lot of our top distance guys are going to rest this week because of the altitude, and then he'll, he'll be ready to go to Iowa State next week. I think I'm very ready. I've been pretty consistent throughout the season, and I'm just really hoping at this meet that I can have a breakthrough and really drop some really big times. So. Um, you're coming off a of PR, so where are you looking for this week? Um, I had a really big personal best for me this past weekend, so I'm really just hoping to really improve, focus on my mechanics, be aggressive, and really just even have a bit faster time than I did this past weekend. Is there any certain competition that you're looking forward to racing against? Um, I look at everyone as competition. I really don't focus on, you know, one specific team because I feel like really I'm my biggest competitor. So I really just look at what I've done previously and just try to improve and do the best that I can. I think I'm well prepared. Um, last week we had a recovery week and we went to Nebraska with a 14 meet, so it went a lot. So most people didn't run too much, so our legs would be refreshed. We had a good workout these past two days. So I think our team is pretty much ready for this meet. Is there anything specifically that you worked on to improve in this meet this weekend? Uh, mainly health. <laughs> uh, we can't run if we're not healthy. So uh, mainly just staying healthy and um, just trying to start start our race good and finish it good. So that's the main two parts. Um, you talked about healthy. So have you been taking it pretty easy at practice this week or still going? Uh, my coach is good about communicating. So we like to communicate with, with each other, tell him what's going on. So he might alter the workout for us, uh, depending on how, how we're feeling on, on the days. So uh, uh, everybody's workout has been a little different. <laughs> but it, it fits us.
you know, to still get the work in, we need to get it done. Um, why are you looking to get out of the What's your goal? Um, I always to run faster than I did before, you know, so a, a personal uh, best record. Um, and just execute the race like, like, like I need to. And uh, I think everything will be fine and to come out with no injuries. Uh, what kind of competition are you looking at? I'm uh, I'm not really sure what teams are going to be here. Um, I know last year uh, Texas and USC and Alabama and a couple of pros was here. So um, I ended up getting second at this meet last year in the 400. So I'm looking to get first this this year and just uh, com compete and just run run the best to my ability. I know um, last year at the meet there was a couple of Olympians. You expect to see some? Yeah, a couple. I expect to see a couple. I'm not sure which ones, but I mean a, a couple of being. Uh, we're a championship year, so you know, hopefully a couple will, will come out and compete and we can see what they got. <laughs>